Hey guys, Sapolo here, and today I'm going to do a review of the 125 skill high grade Gundam Hajira Boshi. Alright, here is the Hajira Boshi itself. Now, well, it's been it's been a long time that I've built an Iron Boss Orphan Kit, and as expected, it's not it's the usual Gundam figure that we've all built like at some point, really. So, yeah, um, in terms of details, well, um, well, it. it I really, I really like the color scheme. That's for, that's, for, that's for sure. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, okay, so basically the color scheme. Well, we've got the purplish white because uh, not which is, which is a very unusual color. Uh, we've got salmon red. I guess you call it that way. Uh, yellow. You've got uh black and not really dark black. I mean it's like black, but not that not that black. And the gun and frame uh brownish gray for the joints. And yeah, that's about it. Um. Now in terms of stickers, um, just like on the orphan's kit, uh, yeah, that's that's expected. Take another bit real quick. All right. Okay. So in terms of stickers, well, you know, it's an Iron Man's orphan kit, so do it's gonna be you do expect to be sticker heavy. But all right, you got the eyes, which are two separate eye stickers, and it is so damn tiny, I, I, I had a, I had a hard time painting the eyes, I tell you, okay, um, you've got, uh, red for the beefin, which I did sharpen, so yeah, it looks better, uh, red for the shoulders from front and back here, and here as well, from both each side, uh, you've got red for the front skirts, you've got a red, with the gray on the crotch, or black on the crotch, actually, uh, what else? Oh, that was um, the black on the thrusters on the feet. Uh, yellow stickers on the back of the butt thrusters, and you've got uh, I uh, kind of it's only this color, but then I know kind of I don't know close color to that, so I just painted paint white top, uh, painted like uh, spray white, 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 uh, white, uh, bleh, sort of Okay, I spray white uh paint matte paint on it, so it looks very close, but not 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 not, not that close. Okay. Uh, for the uh, trusted wings, I guess I put that way, and I'm trying to remember. I think that's about it. I could be wrong, but yeah, it's a lot sticker. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, black on the uh, the head. They're gray actually, but I I use a pencil, I guess fine. So yeah, in terms of missing detail, I mean, I have it's been a while. I I've been painting missing detail on the kit. So uh, let's go into detail. Uh, you've got black on the front. Uh, front chest has missing detail. Uh, there is a little, there is a, a frame detail inside there. So that's yellow, but I painted it painted gray, it's the same gray as that one. Uh, um, the black on the thruster that that's that's the most important one. Uh, though it's very messy because of the kind of markers getting old. Yeah, and I am tr trying to remember if there's any more details I fill in. I think that's what it. I think. Uh, yeah, I think that, I, seriously, that's all of it. But. You know, for an Iron Man's Orphan Kit, it is pretty sticker heavy, so don't expect this to be very, very, you know, color, color, uh, color accurate. So you do need to get paint ready. So, but overall, it's, I mean, even for it, you know, well, stick with sticker, I mean, it is still pretty good, little, little design of the kit. Articulation, oh, it's alright, I suppose it's the same as any kind of frame. The head is on a dollar ball joint, so it uh, doesn't go up much because the, uh, okay, just go some, if we move a little bit forward. Down, not so much. Rotate, yep, uh, can rotate. V arms are on ball joints, just like uh, those you need to be careful because the V can does get in the way. So if I maneuver my way over, the arms can go out that far. And rotation below the shoulder, single jointed elbow, and the the forearm piece is the forearm frame is a new piece. Uh, the there are some leftover parts from the original gun frame, but this forearm, forearm frame is a new piece because of the uh. This piece of here, which I'll show you around the weapons, with the accessories. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, balls on the wrist, torso. You know, gun frame, torso. So you gotta, you know, expect. Uh, there is a bar which has a hinge that goes forward and back, and the, and the waist is on a ball joint. Front skirt and together, but it's something like I do. Yep. The I do. I guess you could use a side skirt really, but they're on poly caps. So they can swing up and forward, and it can rotate. Back skirt doesn't move, but the thrusters on the back skirt can go. It's it's on a, it's, it's a poly cap, the side skirt poly cap, as you see in Gundam kits. So it goes up and down, and it can rotate. The hips can swing forward and back, separate from the waist. It's a little tight on mine, and the legs can go forward that far. 
not much back. I mean, out is pretty much obvious because you know, Gunner Freeze can do that. Rotation the hip, double joint in the knee. Uh, looks like you can bend, bend 880, but it's 10 again, 9 degrees because you design your armor. Uh, you've got ball jointed feet, and then the and then the uh, ankle armor can move. It's a little bit tight on my head, I don't know why. Yes, yeah, move. And the toes and hinge. And the thruster on the ball. The, the foot thruster is on the ball joint. So move around. And I believe that is about it. So, articulation, well, um, it's, you know, what I do is perfect a, a gun and frame from, from what you, you, you built from the first build, like a barber toes or whatever, like that. So, Articulation, it's you know, it's, it is just a, no, a generic gun frame. Uh, although I would say legs are slightly hindered because of the design, design of the armor, and uh, the, these structures may pop out, pop out occasion as well. So to be, so to be careful. But other than that, articulation is all right. Our accessories, well, I mean, this is it's just like any gun, generic gun. You got a generic gun loadup, just gone physical. So first, some melee weapons. You got a smart mace, which I don't understand this this type of weapon because I know I know it's supposed to be like a close combat weapon, but the size, man, is pretty damn small for a mobile. I know it's supposed to be lightweight for a pilot, but I wish I was a little bigger. But you know, it's fine. So it's like any gun. I'm just take it out. Hold it in. Like so, like that, and that's it for the smart mace. And next up, we have the. I gotta get the hand cord back on. You have the 110 millimeter short rifle again, really small. I mean, what's the hundred bullshit with having small weapons? I mean, I, I don't understand that, but you know what? It's fine. I mean, if, if it works, I guess it works. So basically, just put like so, like that. Yeah, pretty cool. And there's a sticker for the scope right there. And to store the to store these two weapons, there's there's a way you can do those. So for the smart mace, uh, instructions to perfectly store on the right, but you can store it out of way. It's just the same with rifle. But okay, to store the smart mace, uh, basically it just clips it into the. Uh, sorry, it's like um. Yeah. Okay. So to store the weapons, there the side squares have a holster there, and it basically the same. So, uh, just clip it like so. That's for the smart mace. Now for the rifle. Is a track on the rifle right here, and there's another track here. Just slide it in like so. There you go. So the rifle weapons are stored on the Hachiboshi. Now that's that's pretty neat. I pretty like that. So it's it's good. I don't have to to put put in zip lock bags. It's pretty neat. And of course, what what what, what, what can we gun do with stuff without a shield? And there's a crap shield, of course. So yeah. So crap shield. Well, there's I no. This is something I really like about this kit. So basically, you just store a peg on the arm like so. Now, if you want to change your orientation, now this, this is a cool part comes. So, you know how in high grades where you have like an adapter and it's like two pegs so you can put a peg on one side or on the other? For your Boshi, you can do it. That's pretty cool. You don't have to, you don't have to change your orientation, you don't have to, you don't have to get an adapter, it's just the arm has a built-in mechanism where you can just switch, switch the position around. It's pretty neat. <laughs> pretty cool. Okay. So saying, uh, crap shield is not called crash for nothing because it it has these moving parts which you can grab on enemies, and of course it has a needle inside which you can just pull out and there's a drill. Yep. So that's for accessories. Uh, not a lot. I mean, it, it's basically a generic gun loadout. So, um, if I were to say, if if we should, I, if I was to say something, I really wish it came a little bit more stuff other than just these standard loadout, really. But you know what? It's just, it's cool for what it is. Of comparisons, while well, let's bring in the, the OG gun frame. Barbitos Lupus. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I turn it yellow. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. Um, I know Hajibushi has like tall feet, sort of tall feet on the foot, really. But um, Barbitos Lupus is definitely taller. So, yeah, it's a 19 meter frame. This is 18.6 meters, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to bring in some, I guess, standard size uh, Zeta Plus. Since that's, I can't tell. Uh, but yeah. So, yeah, so review. Alright, that's a review of the high grade Gun Hajiro Boshi. Now, what do I think of this kit? Well, it's just an average uh, iron bullet offense kit that you expect can expect when you you know get if you've built these kind of kits before. So details, well, well, um, it's it's standard for iron bullet offense kit. Uh, sticker is well, yeah, you can it's to expect it for the size, but 
um, articulation is all right. Uh, do I say it? just like just like any gun, any gun, every gun and frame? Um, the depending on what arm you put on, it can hinder the articulation somewhat. So, um, the legs are slightly hindered. I mean, hit on your knees. The knees are slightly hindered because the uh, design of your armor. Accessories, well, they are just standard loadout again. I mean, it's it's just not generic. Uh, though I, I would say uh, I do love the crab show because you know that freaking um. Uh, Crab grab grab everything with the nails that's pretty neat. So overall, do I recommend this kit? That honestly depends on you because um, if you want to hide your bullshit, then yes, I say go for it because um, it's a very pretty interesting little model. I mean, I I really find it pretty nice to have around. I mean, it's it's just I have not been Iron Man often in a while, and I felt like yeah, I'll just get one of these Iron Man to try out myself. And yeah, it, it's still the same quality, but um, it's it's um, it's not Iron Man Muffin kit. So nothing, nothing to say here. It's it's what you expect from if you've built Iron often kits before. Um, but if you want a better kit in general, then I would say, um, if you like this, like I said, if you like the Hydro Bullshit or if you like the design, yes, go for it. But if you want something better, then I'd say it's, you're not missing out if you're getting this kit. But overall, it's a pretty good kit. I really do enjoy the build. And yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this review. And stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.